has faith in God. And, you know, whenever uh, the enemy uh, causes uh, someone to be overtaken, uh, we can put it on the devil. But we know that somewhere our faith got affected. I just see how God is is good. I've left you in very capable hands. And, uh, Dr. Bailey is here. One of my daughters is out here. And she's bringing the word. It's just, it's just good. This is exactly 90 days from the day something happened and I was wheelchair bound. And uh, the enemy tried to tried to do something, but, but, but I'm here to tell you, keep, keep the faith, because yeah, I'm on the front line, and uh, he wants to get me, because he get me, he figures he can get you. But he can't get me. So I just thought I'd show up today and let you know let you know that your prayers are working. Put in my pocket to give you a hundred dollars, yeah. but uh, but yeah, no, uh, okay, okay, now, uh, amen. Now, um, amen, we love you too. Be quiet now, so I can say what I want to say. Um, <clears throat> um, right now, uh, I want the rest of this uh, restoration to be done speedily. So we're going to come out with a confession for you. It's going to be on on the site, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. But um, here's some verses for you first. If you can put it up, please. This is uh, Isaiah 58 and 8. Okay. Uh, ready? Read. chapter 4 and verse 39. This is when um, he went to Peter's house. Peter's mother-in-law uh, had a terrible fever. Probably she's delirious. And um, Jesus came to the house. He rebuked the fever. Let's read that. Ready? Read. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever and it left her. And immediately she arose and ministered unto them. I'm talking about there was no trace that she had ever had a fever. No trace. Now, there's another time in Acts chapter 12. And this is verse 5. And we'll start reading there and read through verse 7. Ready? Read. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. 
and when Jared would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. All right. So you can see there where Peter got deliverance that night. This is not something that takes a month. I'm talking about God's work needs to be done now. We need deliverance now. Last verse, or second to the last. Let's look at Luke chapter 18, verse 8. Luke 18, verse 8. Ready? Read. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? That tells me that for him to find faith on the earth, it's going to be rare. Because the enemy is trying to do everything he can to rob you of your faith. But living word will not be robbed. So let me give you the next verse. This is Job chapter 22 and verse 28. Ready, read. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. So what are we going to do? We're going to make up a declaration. We're going to make up a confession. And when you say it, expect something to happen. Amen. So we're going to put this on the website starting. It'll be there by Tuesday. It'll be right there. I want you to get it. And I want you to say it every day. Say amen. Because it's time for me to get back.